everybody, welcome back to Mac 5. Today we are going to be talking about things to do in Grafenwehr, Germany. If you just got orders there, then this is the video for you. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is check out the tower. You can't go in it, but you can go up to it and check it out. It's got a lot of cool history, so read up on that. And there's also the parade field um, right there. If you have little ones, you probably want to go check out the tanks and see everything right around the center of the base. The next thing you can do is check out the Cultural and Military Museum right there in town. And while you're right there in the middle of town, you might as well walk over to Penguino Ice. It's a local ice cream shop. They have homemade ice cream. They make it every day. It's only open in the summer, so it's seasonal. But they have something called spaghetti ice. I promise you, it's life-changing. Get it. You'll love the spaghetti ice. You'll never get anything else while you're in Germany. Also, while you're in town, check out the Maybaum tree, feed the ducks, let the kiddos play at the park, and, and just enjoy the view. Next up on our list is just go explore Lidl. It's a grocery store and they have a lot of really good deals. Get a real Kinder Egg because you can't get those in the States anymore, well, at all. You can only get the kind that's like a Kinder, I don't know what it is, but it's not a real Kinder Egg. It doesn't have real chocolate, but they have huge ones a lot of times at Easter. Get a Kinder Egg, check it out, see what the fuss is all about. Teddy, you're gonna wanna go in Teddy. Teddy is amazing. <laughs> Next up is this really neat little shrine. It's by the fountain in town. There's like a pathway, you walk up into the woods. We never knew it was there until right before we left, but it's really neat, check it out. Another fun thing to do is go to this antique store in Presat called, it's Peter Rothballer, I think. We got a really cool um, currency from before the Deutschmark. I think it's the Funzig mark, but it was really neat. And that store has a lot of cool stuff. And while you're in Presa, you might as well go to Zacco's and get a donor. The Graf Pool is a fun thing to do in the summertime. They have a lot of grassy area to lay out and they also have volleyball, which is cool. Eschenbach Lake is another great location for the summertime. They have a nice sandy beach to lay out on. They also have paddle boats that you can rent. And in the wintertime, if it gets cold enough and it freezes, they have ice skating as well. Megafun is an indoor playground for kids and it's great for birthday parties. I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but McDonald's. Check out the McDonald's. McD McDonald's in Europe is so much better than the McDonald's in the States. And um, I don't know, it just, it's, it tastes better and it's better service. Everything about it is better. The best McDonald's, however, is in Austria. Next up on our list is the Langenbruck Cemetery. Um, it's a cemetery in Vilsack. It's actually on base in Vilsack. Go check it out. It's really cool. It has like a little plaque that tells you the story about the village that once lived there. It's a neat thing to do. Moving on to the Parkstein Ruins. So the Parkstein Ruins was built on, it's built on an inactive volcano. Um, there's an old church up at the top. The views are amazing. It's a fun little afternoon thing to do. It's about 25 minutes away from Graf. And it's just really pretty up there. You'll love it. Next up is Pottenstein. You can go take a tour of the Devil's Cave. You can check out the castle. You can ride the toboggan down the mountain. It's a really fun little afternoon thing to do. We went on Mother's Day and it was a little chilly because it is kind of up in the mountains. So if you go in like May, take a jacket. Um, but it was fun and it's a great, they have like a lot of stuff to do in the summer as well. So it's a really fun thing to do as well. And it's about 30 minutes away from Graf, 45 sometimes at most. Check it out. Another fun thing to do with the kids is to go to Playmobil. So Playmobil is a park. It's kind of like Legoland's. Well, it's basically similar to Legoland, except it doesn't have like roller coasters and stuff. But um, we went for a class field trip with Haley and it was, I didn't even know it existed. It's like up by Nuremberg, but the kids loved it. So it's a great thing to do. They also have a hotel right there, kind of like Legoland does, but it's pretty cool. Check it out. The kids can milk cows, ride like bumper boats, play with Legos. It's very interactive. And um, we only went one time. I wish we'd have gone again, but your kids will definitely love it. 
Another fun afternoon thing to do is just to go to Viden and walk around. So Viden has like all the stores like H&M and they've got a bunch of different other things as well. But um, it's basically your shopping area. But while you're in Viden, you might as well go to Schindler Hannes. Schindler Hannes is a restaurant. It's authentic German, great food, super cheap. And they have a little play area downstairs for the kids to play in. So you'll love that as well. Next up is Regensburg. So you can get the train at Prasat and you can just ride it into Regensburg and it lets you off in a shopping mall and it's really, it's very convenient and it's a lot of fun. Um, it's free to park at the train station and Prasat as well. But in Regensburg, there is a brewery. I think it's called Regensburger Weissbrauhaus. It's great, great food, um, excellent beer. You'll love it. Next up, of course, is Nuremberg. Nuremberg has a lot to do. Um, they have great shops, great food. Everything about it is great. We have a whole video on Nuremberg, so check it out. Another great thing to do in Weiden is go to the Weiden or Thermenbelt. I think that's how you say it. It's a swimming pool and a spa and great for those um, winter birthday parties. Another fun afternoon adventure is Flossenberg Concentration Camp. Flossenburg Concentration Camp is um, kind of humbling. I wouldn't say it's a fun adventure, but it is educational and a great thing to do. To kind of learn about what happened during World War II. Um, there's a lot of history, a lot of memorabilia and things like that. Um, kind of gave me an eerie feeling walking through it, but I'm glad we went. Um, that was the only concentration camp we went while we we went to when we were living in Germany, but. I'm glad we went. Um, like I said, it was extremely humbling. Some of the pictures, and as you can see, are kind of creepy. Um, there was a hill that had like bodies and ashes of those that they burned. Um, kind of got me feeling a little weird, but you can walk around and tour all, everything that's there and um, it's a great experience, so check it out. That's all we have for today, guys. Please be sure to check out all of our other videos that we have about Graf. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you like this video, click the like button and thank you for watching.